In this video, we are going to learn about the class diagram. So first, let us learn about the class diagram model. So class diagram model. So first, you need to draw a box. This box indicates a class. This box indicates a class. So this box I am going to divide into three parts. Part number one, part number two and part number three. So three compartments of a class. So inside the first part, I have to write the object name. Object name is nothing but object that belongs to the class. Now, for example, if the topic is hospital management system. So, if this is the topic and if you are asked to draw a class diagram, you need to first create a class and divide it into three. So, for this hospital management system, what can be the object? So, object can be a doctor, right? So, because in a hospital, doctor should be there. The doctor plays an important role. So, doctor is an object. So, object name will be doctor, for example. Okay. Next, attributes is the second part. So, attributes is nothing but this is defined for what? The object. So, the characteristics of the object is nothing but attributes. So, what are the characteristics of doctor? All that I have to written inside the second box. So, doctor means and I have to put a minus sign before attributes. So, doctor means doctor will have a name. So, I have to put minus name colon its data type I have to write. Name is nothing but a string because it consists of alphabets. So, data type. String is nothing but a data type. So, this, are, this is about the attributes. I have to put minus and the attribute name. This attribute name corresponds to the object's characteristics. Next, in the third box, I have to write its operations. I have to put plus sign and write its operations. Okay. So, what operations? Operation means what? I have to put plus sign. The operation. Now, check the patient. This is one operation and I have to put brackets like this. So, check patient means checking the patient details. This operation the doctor can access, can do. So, the doctor can check the patient details in order to prescribe proper medicines. So, in this way, you have to draw a class and divide into three parts. Inside the first part, you have to write the object name corresponding to the class. If you take hospital management system, the object name can be a doctor or it can be a patient or it can be a hospital itself. Hospital management system means hospital is necessary, right? Only if a building is there, inside that doctors, patients, then uh, the staffs working in the hospital, all that will be an object. Next, attributes. Put a minus sign. Whatever object you have chosen. If you have chosen doctor, attributes of doctor you have to write by putting a minus sign before it. Name of the doctor, colon, the data type. Name means it is a string because it is full of alphabets. Next, third box plus operation. So, I have to put plus what operations the doctor can access. Now, checking patient details, the doctor will have access to do that in order to prescribe proper medicine. So, in this way, you are supposed to draw a class diagram model. So, whenever a topic is given like hospital management system and if you are asked to draw a class diagram, you have to create classes like this. Okay, at least four to five classes. Four to five classes you need to create like this. Okay. Four to five classes. So now doctor class I have drawn over here. Like this next patient. Next hospital. Next staff. Next drugs. 
Like this, I have to create five classes or four classes at least in order to draw a class diagram. Then only it will be very clear and neat. For a 10 marker question, you have to at least draw four to five classes. Only then you will be given that much of marks. I hope you understood the basics of how to draw a class diagram. We'll see little more components in the next video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends.